Greetings all, Scully here, welcoming you back to our free-to-play run of Star Wars The Old Republic. And we are here with Galt. I'm sorry, it's Galt. Greetings all, Scully here, welcoming you back to our free-to-play run of Star Wars The Old Republic. And next up is Gout, or sorry, Galt. Didn't mean to make fun of you there. Let's go ahead and <laughs> let's go ahead and talk to Galt here. So this is home. A little spare, don't you think? It serves well enough. You're practical. I get it. I'm not suggesting plating the hull in gold. I'm just saying maybe you should consider conserving ammo and installing seats with upholstery. Think about it. Couldn't hurt to make this bucket a little more livable. Oh, I can recommend some folks who keep a good selection of before-market parts so as not to strain your budget. We can't all be fabulously wealthy criminal masterminds, but this bounty hunting gig seems straightforward enough. Besides, I like the idea of doing the chasing for a change, even if I am slumming it. Oh, it's good to relax. This is as close as I'm getting to it these days. Something wrong? Wrong? Oh, yeah, that's putting it lightly. I'm going nuts here. I've spent so long keeping one step ahead of somebody, I can't believe I've lost them for good. At least when I'm out with you, I usually know where the blaster fire's coming from. Keeps my mind off trouble. Mostly. Didn't realize you were having as much trouble adjusting. Spend 30 years doing what you're doing, and you'll know what I'm talking about. I knew you were a career scoundrel, but 30 years on the run? Pretty impressive. Things weren't so bad until people finally realized the same guy was responsible for most of their woes. And I've made some enemies over the years, believe me. Two and a half dozen Hutt families, the entire Carillion Exchange... And there was that whole blockade incident that ran the Mandalorians home with their tails between their legs. Come on, I think I've had my fill of all this cheering up. You know, you're pretty quick to sniff out an opportunity for profit. Flattery won't get whatever you're angling for. Oh, I was just making an observation, but now that you mention it... I wonder how much more lucrative our little partnership could be if you applied that intuition to something other than bounty hunting. Gave up trying to make an honest living already? I was looking for a fresh start with this little arrangement, not a career change. My abundance of skills and expertise are always at your disposal. It just so happens that most of my expertise is in crime. Mull it over. I hate to see so much potential go to waste. I've been thinking it over, and I see a lot of room for improvement maximizing your profits. Take catching me, for example. Sure, you got a nice bounty from the Great Hunt, but why stop there? You just need to use a little imagination. And what did your imagination come up with? A few words in the right ears, and you could make a lot of money on poor Tiresias' remains. If you don't mind double-crossing crime lords. Offer the body, see who bites, rob them blind. <laughs> Couldn't be simpler. Are all your schemes this blunt? It's not the most elaborate con, but you're new at this. Besides, the scams are a lot less risky when you know you can vaporize anyone in the room. So, that suggestion I had involving my duplicate? Turns out there are a lot of folks out there who've still got a bone to pick with the late Tiresias Loci. A little friendly competition couldn't hurt our final take. I'm thinking an auction would do the trick. In my experience, auctions in the underworld don't mix well. Oh, sure. Get enough bad seeds in one place and something bad's bound to crop up. A little weeding out takes care of that. Give me some time off the ship and I can handle the whole thing by proxy. The only finger you'll have to lift will be the one accepting your credit transfer. Make it happen. I'll be back before you know it. 
What? No parade? No, oh, not even a cake? How oh, about at least mustering a good to see you for the guy holding your share of the credits? Sorry to disappoint. Take a drink instead? Well, just this once. You're cut. Pretty good take, considering the expenses. The bidders really couldn't wait to take Tiresias off our hands. What expenses? Middlemen, venues, security, incentives, everything necessary to ensure a smooth transaction with half the underworld in one place. Three pirate crews, ten free traders, two exchange bosses, half a dozen huts, one I don't even remember crossing. Kept licking his lips, and I think his name was Druga. It was quite the rogues gallery. A lot of familiar faces. Brought back memories, let me tell you. Oh, I picked up a little souvenir from the Royal Museum. I thought we could make sure these get put to better use. Glad to see you're actually making yourself useful. A little respect might be nice. I was a target in the Great Hunt, you know. Unless we find a collector, we'll need to fence these. Quick turnaround will forfeit a big cut, but it'll be a nice bonus. I've got better things to do than haggle in pawn shops. I'll see what I can do. Let me tell you a little thing about opportunity. What makes you think I need advice on the subject? You're more an in-the-moment type. Sometimes you've got to see the potential farther down the road. Take this group of fresh-off-the-shuttle Arcona I met at the Mosila spaceport before you showed up. I left those Arcona with a stellar impression of Geller rowing, helpful merchant, and earmarked them for a return trip once things died down. What are Arcona? Ah, they're your basic schlubs, big wedge-shaped heads and giant eyes. Can't miss them. Seems fresh water's hard to come by on Kona. These rubes heard about moisture farming on Tatooine and figured it was their ticket to riches. Fleecing these yokels will be like taking candy from a baby. The key is finding the right scheme. You really enjoy seeing what you can get away with, don't you? Surely a Mandalorian can appreciate testing one's limits. Moisture farmers aren't exactly rolling in credits, but a whole colony of them can add up. Remember those Arcona colonists I was telling you about? Well, I've got the perfect racket to skim a little profit off those moisture farming saps. Salt. This, I have to hear. I used to know this spacey Arconan bagman back on Nar Shadda. Thought the guy was a spice head for the longest time. Turns out I was only half right. This guy's cravings were something else. Are all Arcona this screwy? Well, the few I've met haven't exactly instilled me with confidence. One night, after making our handoff in some dive diner, he orders some garbage soup and dumps an entire shaker of salt into the bowl. Should have seen the way this guy went at the stuff before stumbling out of the place like it's last call. Your money's on these colonists having the same craving. Ten to one says there's something about salt that those wedgeheads can't resist. We're gonna sell those colonists the answer to all their woes, specially formulated and offered exclusively through Rowing Industries. If I'm right about how much Arcona loved the stuff, our biggest problem will be keeping up the supply. Meet our new product had our salt shipment bottled as special tablets to help organics retain water. Now we just need to seal the deal. I want you with me when our prospective buyer calls. Keep him from getting too comfortable. We'll be meeting an Arcona named Gruna to convince him to act as our supplier to the colony. Sounds simple enough. This chump would do anything for enough credits to get off Tatooine. I don't think it'll take much to get poor Gruna to bite. Bruna, good to hear from you. Looking well. Lose some weight. Cagriso es reto para nai. Oh, him? Never mind him. Had to let go of my last security detail in favor of this one. Consummate professional. Say hello. We look forward to doing business with you, Gruna. See? A perfect gentleman. You know, Gruna, I'm a bit of a philanthropist. Did I mention that? Roger, man. 
My visit to Tatooine left me inspired by the plight of rugged folks like yourself trying to squeeze life out of that dust bowl. Making life easier for the little guy, that's my motto. And helping you hard-working souls is now my personal mission. He'll put himself in the poorhouse if that's what it takes. My associate worries too much. My friend Gruna and his pals wouldn't leave me holding the bag. There'll be plenty of prosperity to go round. The top chemists at Rowing Industries developed this little wonder for us, a compound designed to maximize water retention in organic life forms. The benefit to hard-working subsistence farmers such as yourself is immeasurable. Can you be sure you'll ever be able to afford that at the rate you're going? We're helping you use less water, leaving you more time to sell. It'll pay for itself several times over. You're in a good position, Gruna. You stand to make a lot of money as my distributor once things take off. Tell you what, I'll send you a sample. If your friends aren't begging you for more in a matter of days, you can keep it. No charge. Don't mention it. I hope we'll be hearing from you soon. Come on, partner. I have a feeling we'll need to increase our supply. See, I told you a little patience goes a long way, but let me remove any lingering doubts. You remember those little trinkets that happened to come into our possession on Alderaan? I managed to sell most of the stuff right back to the nobility at a tidy profit. How'd you swing that? <laughs> it took a little laundering, but the Alderaanians were very eager to outbid the competition. Notice anything different? Are you gonna get upset if I say no? <laughs> Hardly. I'll just chalk it up to fine craftsmanship. Just acquired some nice form-fitting blast armor. Thought I'd see if it would stand up to a trained eye. Apparently so, if your observation is any indication. The equipment I'm providing not cutting it? No complaints. This is purely supplemental. Since I'm still putting myself in harm's way, I decided to make a little investment in my well-being. Been stocking up on interesting tidbits at every port we've hit. From here on, I'm ready for anything. So, what do you know about Hilo Viz? Who or what is Hilo Viz? Only the big-time celebrity who coordinated the biggest blockade run this galaxy's ever seen. She broke the Mandalorian blockade at the Hidian Way. You know, the one that strangled Coruscant and dashed a full-scale Jedi assault. And it wasn't out of the goodness of her heart, either. Credits were involved. A lot of them. I bet more than a few people would be willing to pay to have a word with her. That'd be difficult to deliver, considering she's dead. Anyone asking about Hilo isn't looking for a chat. Most think the Huts were behind Hilo's disappearance, but anyone who knew her could tell you they'd have better odds winning a marathon. No, she's still out there. Somewhere. Why the sudden interest in a long-lost spacer? Hilo was my old partner. More than that. That blockade run was the last thing we ever did together. Like I said, a lot of credits were involved. When I saw the opportunity, I took off and left Hilo holding the bag. Stupid. You double-crossed your own girlfriend? Technically, she wasn't my girlfriend when I double-crossed her. I was young and naive and maybe a little afraid of commitment. I didn't know what I lost until it was gone. Listen, I found out that an old associate from that blockade run is still around and kicking. A mutual acquaintance. I owe Hilo one last visit. If he knows where she's been laying low all this time, I've got to track him down. I caught up with that old associate from the blockade run. Old Quan and I had a nice little chat. He was surprised to see me, to say the least. Can you trust him to keep quiet about your new identity? Oh, I'd say he'll remain mum on the subject indefinitely. Don't give me that look, I bought his last round. Before I had to end Quan's retirement prematurely, I convinced him to fill me in on some gaps in our history since the blockade run. 
When the Huts came looking for their return investment, Hilo Viz smuggled herself off to Republic space with the help of another free trader. That definitely increases her odds of being alive. I'm not so sure, given where she was headed. Remember Zale Barrows? She got a deal with that twerp to hide her on Del Savis. If she's still stuck there, this is my chance to swoop into the rescue. I've got to go after her. If it means this much to you, count me in. This is personal, a little too personal. I've got to take care of this on my own. If I don't make it, well, thanks. I don't think Tiresias would have ever gotten this opportunity. When did you get back? Oh, a little while ago. I wasn't exactly in a talkative mood. My little pipe dream involving Hilo went about as you'd have expected. I'm here, if you want to get it off your chest. I'm not exactly used to spilling my guts, but okay. After all these years, I finally caught up with her and she hadn't changed a bit. I found her on Del Savis in some sort of stasis chamber. It was like I just left. She wasn't in a forgiving mood. If she'd had a blaster, she'd have shot me the moment she came to. Lucky for me, she recognized that prison wasn't the place to hash things out. She took off the first chance she got. Hardly the reunion I was looking for, but I got her out of that pit. That counts for something, right? Well, now you can get over it and move on. Yeah, maybe. If you'll excuse me, I need to create a hangover to nurse. You're not gonna believe this. I heard from Hilo. She's willing to take me back if I'm willing to show she means more to me than me. Sent the message certified, credits on delivery. Whew, almost cleaned me out just to have it delivered. She's nobody's fool. Never was. If it had been my plan to steal the money, she'd have sniffed me out. That just sort of happened. I learned my lesson. I feel like I'm back in my prime. Not that I'd slipped, I'm just unburdened. I owe you for that, so I thought I'd say it. And don't go making a big deal out of it. Glad I could help. Really. I've got to hand it to you. You really surprised me. You're not what I would call a conventional partner in crime. But we're really turning out to make quite the team. Letting you live was one of my better decisions. Uh, I do think it's because we got all of that pesky trying to kill each other out of the way early. You and me, we're going to carve out a criminal empire, or at least accumulate one heck of a fortune. Your children's children won't know what to do with it. I'm telling you, wild space is the limit. Have I mentioned how much pulling that little con has improved my mood? I think that auction put to bed any lingering doubts that Tiresias is dead and gone. And aside from knowing my new identity ought to stick, I'd almost forgotten how much I love a good scheme. Does this mean you're gonna stop pacing the ship at all hours? Sure, sure, unless I'm planning our next big score. It's hard to work a proper hustle when you're on the run, chum. I've pulled more heists than cons in recent memory. That was the kind of racket my former partner preferred. Simple, bold, effective. He used to argue about that a lot. You had other preferences. Armed robbery is one of the few things I enjoy in moderation. My preference is to be long gone by the time anyone gets wise. That's a lot easier without bounty hunters breathing down my neck. It's about time I got back in the game. Can't afford to let myself get out of practice, after all. Don't look at me, this is your show. Well, final thoughts. I think they probably picked the perfect voice actor um, for this particular character. Although, I, in real life, I I might shy away from somebody like this. I I think he portrayed his character pretty well. Um, I would have liked to get in, gotten off the ship and done a little bit of exploring with him, but other than that, I... I think he did a good job, and I think the story writer did an excellent job as well. So up next we have... Did I do them out of order again, or did it change? I could have swore Mako was number one. I guess it'll be Blizz up next. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, until next time, Scully signing out.